This video will help you understand how to set up your baseline cell modem module. Here's what's in the box. Wireless service activation info, a power cord, mounting screws, and a zip tie, a salt shaker antenna, and the cell module itself. Before we install the module, we need to activate it. For that, we're going to need the information on the card and then visit baselinesystems.com slash wireless activation. On the activation form, you'll need to input the account name, the billing address, the contact name, the billing phone number, and then the billing email address. Remember that information card? It has the information we're going to need, the cell modem SIM number and the cell modem serial number. Next, enter the controller name, the site name, and then agree to the listed terms and conditions. Enter your name and then use the mouse for some semblance of a signature. After submitting the form, allow a few days for the activation to be processed. Now that I've gotten notice that my cell modem has been activated, I can install it. The first thing we're going to do is power down the controller at the circuit breaker by unplugging it or by removing the plastic cover and unplugging the orange lead from the transformer. Now I'll pull out the rubber plug from the antenna hole and install the salt shaker antenna. There's no need to torque it down, just snug down slightly with a wrench. Install and hand tighten the antenna cable next. The cell module is held on with three screws. That last one's a little hard to find all the way down at the bottom. Now we'll connect the power cable to the cell module and then to the power board at the port labeled COM2. Use the zip tie to secure both the power cable and the antenna cable so they aren't damaged. For this demonstration, I pulled off the front panel, so I'm going to reinstall that, connect the ribbon cable, and then the ground wire, and then I'll power up the controller. With all communication modules, make sure that the antenna is connected before powering up the controller. Connecting a module without an antenna will damage the device and void the warranty. It's time to configure the cell module connection. Begin by pressing the System Setup button in the lower corner. Use the arrows to navigate to Network Setup, and then press OK. A communication setup, press OK to see the communication type menu. You can use the plus or minus buttons to find CN cell or cloud network cell. Under cell modem info, we can see that the modem is registered and ready. Let's check on the base manager connection by pressing back until you find base manager setup, where we can see that base manager is enabled. Back up to base manager info and press OK to connect. After a moment, you can see we're connected to Base Manager. If you haven't connected your controller to Base Manager yet, there's an extra step. About now, an authorization code has popped up on the screen, so take a picture of it or write down that code. Go to baselineapps.net, log into your account, and open Base Manager. In the menu in the upper left corner, select Administration, and then Administration again. In this new tab, go to My Controllers and add a new controller. Select a site, enter the PIN, and add the additional site data to complete the link. Back at the controller, you can verify the connection at Base Manager Info and look for the connected status. 